everybody how is it going this is babylon 5 this is season number three this is episode number six this episode is called dust to dust last episode we met julie who was working for the ministry of peace kind of now night watchy as well and she'd been sent to babylon 5 as a political officer and she was sent here by earthgov and basically it was her job to kind of make sure that the ideals of Clark's government were institutionalised on Babylon 5 and that they were in force and the Night Watch were doing what it was they were supposed to do. But we saw how it's developed from how it originally was introduced to us. So originally Night Watch, this guy was explaining how, you know, just keep an eye on this, keep an eye on that. But now they're talking about sedition and things are starting to get tense here because John obviously didn't trust her. We saw what she was willing to do to earn John's trust. Whilst this is all going on, we've got Ivanova who goes down onto Epsilon and basically goes into the Great Machine because Dral basically vacated so she could have a little look in herself and find the path to the first ones. And while she was coming back along that path, back to her own body, we glimpsed Io and what happened around Io and then we saw the video of Clark talking to somebody that person being Morden's voice and we saw how even back when Jeff was here Morden was involved with Earth and we saw at the end of one of the episodes previously where Morden was sat with that lady represented Earth and that guy from the psycho so I'm really looking forward to seeing what the hell's going to happen because I'm just at the position now where We've got Zach doing Night Watch stuff and Zach's now questioning Garibaldi. We've got everybody questioning what's happening on Earth because we heard that there's bad things happening. We've got Jakar who was talking to Delenn and basically saying he will find out what's going on around the subject of Rangers. And I'm just sat here thinking, holy shit, I'm just going to get straight on into this. Let's go. Got your page. What's up? I got your favourite person in the whole universe hanging on Gold Channel 3. Figured you want to see this yourself. Huh? Open channel. Uh, sorry for the delay, Mr. Bester, but I figured I'd better His ask little you your face. officer here. <laughs> Go ahead. I was just telling Mr. Garibaldi here that I'll be arriving on Babylon 5 in approximately seven hours. I'm in pursuit of an individual who's a danger to your station, Earth, and the Psychor. In a little more than five hours, Bester will be arriving in Bay 9. Oh! Bester, I do not believe I have had the pleasure. He's a psychop. In theory, they chase down rogue telepaths, but in Vester's case, that mandate is just a little broader. They're not supposed to engage in unauthorized scans, but with everything that's been happening lately, Ministry of Peace, enforcing codes of conduct, that situation we had with Talia... You feel that he can no oh! longer be trusted to honor that rule? He turns us in, we're court-martialed, then shot for treason. Oh. We kill him before he has a chance to tell anybody. I will not support murder. We cannot kill him. Can we wound him? <laughs> just a little? Ivanova. Nobody is killing anybody, not on my watch. There may be an alternative, but it does carry some risk. It, it's folly. What is wrong with this guy? Oh, up God. I want to know what. Is it another one? Dr. Franklin, you better see this. It may be a related case. Oh. All right, symptoms. Traumatic shock, total lack of consciousness, respiration and heartbeat way below normal. He's got his marathon blanket. But what does this have to do with him? We found her just down the hall from where he went nuts. She's a geological consultant. According to her record, six months ago, she broke her leg in three places while she was climbing a mountain on Mars. Okay. She got caught in a landslide and nearly killed. Oh, God. The mountain fell on her. Exactly. Everyone clear the command deck. Now. I have to do a maintenance routine. It'll take about ten minutes. But what you need people for maintenance routine? Standing by, Babylon Control. Request permission to dock. I don't know you. You're kind, the way I do. They don't understand. Susan? I think it's some kind of a joke, but nothing works with you people. Susan? Force. Computer, activate forward defense grid. Babylon Control, are you there? Transport to Babylon Control. You can't risk throwing it all away, not because of you. I've been saying for weeks now, the defense grid's been acting funny. Defense grid, prepare to fire. Fire! Land order! Don't do it. Oh Don't my god. Don't throw your career away on this. He's not worth it. If he gets on board, all of our careers are finished anyway. Yours, mine, everything we've worked for. Susan. Everything will come out. Everything will come It'll out. It'll be okay. Delenn's plan will work. So good to see you again. 
I'd like to introduce you to my associates. These are Mimbari telepaths. Nothing like a level playing field to ruin a psychops day. Am I right, Mr. Bester? <gasps> I, I, I love John. I don't like you. I don't like you, the psych corps, that badge, or that uniform. Your attitude stinks. Frankly, I don't trust you as far as I can throw this station, and I hold you personally responsible for what happened to tell you winners. That operation was initiated by my predecessors. Thank you. Oh, I had no idea. Are oh, you lying, sack? On the other hand, we learned some interesting things about Miss Winters in the course of her debriefing and dissect. That is, examination. Don't. He's trying to provoke you. We don't trust you to abide by the rules prohibiting unauthorized scans. A normal human telepath can't stop you. But a group of Minbari telepaths together are strong enough to block even a psychop. Did we they can't kill her? conduct business with outsiders hanging around. You're not around. conducting any business until we set some new ground rules. I did a little research. Came up with the drug used to suppress the abilities of telepaths who won't join the Psy Corps. Now, you've got two choices. Either we use this to suppress your abilities to scan while you're here, or wherever we go, they go. Doctor? Trust, Captain. You should try it sometime. You gotta trust the right the people. The drug requires three hours to take effect. I'll see you in four. You know, while I have you here, I want to thank you again for helping with my assignment on Minbar. At first, I didn't think I'd like it there, but the longer I stay there, the harder it is for me to leave. Sometimes I think maybe Londo could use a visit there. I, th I think it would do him good. I don't think they'd invite him. A darkness carried in the heart cannot be cured by moving the body from one place to another. I don't think there is anything that can be done for him now. That's because you don't know him. Someday he'll surprise you. I think London surprises people on a daily basis. I want you to fear so, Jeff. The problem we're facing involves not just the psych corps, but planetary security. For the last year, we've been after one of the biggest manufacturers of dust in Earth territory. Dust. dust is a major problem for telepaths because it allows the user to commit a kind of telepathic rape. The drug enhances the latent telepathic gene in most humans and gives it a destructive power for several hours. Yeah, we've heard about it. It lets you invade someone's mind, experience everything they've experienced. Oh my god. Every touch, every sensation. Like that mountain thing. You live their entire life in a matter of minutes. Usually the victim recovers in a few days, but when a telepath is violated, oh. he almost never recovers. We have a vested interest in finding the people responsible for this. We believe one of the main distributors for dust has come to Babylon 5. Think about it, Mr. Garibaldi. Do you know anyone here who might have an interest in buying weapons that can't be seen or traced until it's too late? That's just a sample. I don't carry much on me. It's too risky. The rest is coming in later. How does it work? It has a chemical master key that can address the DNA sequence of most non-human species, but... They don't know how it'll I know, there are affect no people? Non-telepaths. You may not even carry the gene. There are no non-telepaths now, but once long ago there were. Do you really think the Mimbari can be trusted? Oh, yes. yes. Why? Ah, Veer. So I, I have think he's naive. Seen political naivete, this complete once before, in a speech before the Centaurum by Lord Jano. When he was finished, we recommended that he be sterilized in the best interests of evolution. Londo, the Mimbari are very lovely people, interested in culture and art and... Decadent and soft. And Jeff. Probably out to impose their views on everyone else. But the cities are thousands of years old. The lack of new construction is the surest sign of a faltering economy. This could make them very aggressive. What? They are deeply spiritual people, yes, Lando. That you can leave in. It always scares people. Lando, are, are you oh, deliberately trying to drive me insane? The universe is already mad. Anything else would be redundant. Suppose you've got Lando, to spin it, haven't you? Get that, would you? There's always <sighs> something to spawn in politics. Yes. What did you drop now, Veer? Himself? Veer! <laughs> Shikar, I can see that you're obviously quite upset. Perhaps I sh should. Yes, we will help. You had a problem with Quadrant 37? We took care of it for you. Yes, but you killed 10,000 nuns! I didn't know you cared. 10,000, 100,000, a million, what's the difference? Oh, no! They're nuns, Ambassador. Your sworn enemy. You. 
It was you. You were at the center of it all. I have nothing more to do with that. Who are they? Tell me. Tell me or I'll rip it from your mind. No. All of it! You want to see this shit? It is enough. Huh? What? Who? Who's there? Just us. Who are you? I am who I have always been. Father. It is not too late for you. Oh my gosh. Honor my name. No. We are a dying people, Jakar. So are the Centauri. Obsessed with each other's death until death is all we can see and death is all we deserve. And some of us must be sacrificed if all are to be saved. You have the opportunity here and now to choose to become something greater and nobler and more difficult than you have been before. The universe does not offer such chances often, Jakar. Why now? Why not earlier? I have always been here. <laughs> oh, dude, I love you. To the charges of assault on Ambassador Malari, assault on Vircoto, use and purchase of prohibited material, how do you plead? Guilty, Your Honor. And the plea has been entered. I am ready to pass judgment. Citizen Jakar, it is the decision of this court that you be confined to the station prison facilities for a period of no less than 60 days. I said all along, this whole dust idea wasn't going to work. We spent five years developing this stuff, tying it into latent genes. Oh my that gosh! It hasn't produced one telepath of acceptable strength among the normal population. Oh well, at least we got it out of the hands of aliens and back among the humans, where it belongs. This episode, man, oh, every, every time I watch an episode of this show, it gets to the point where I think to myself, it cannot surprise me or draw me in any more than it already has. But holy hell, man, knowing that there was this compound, this dust, that if given to telepaths was, as best as said, dangerous. And then finding out that Jakar had been getting it because he wanted to use it as a weapon was to me terrifying because I thought oh god he is trying his hardest to get his home world back and to save his people and get rid of this Centauri oppression and you can understand him wanting to help but then using a substance like this to do it is always worrying but then seeing what it could do to a non-human when Jakar took it was terrifying his eyes were so scary and then to see that even under the influence of the dust he still went and picked out Londo and he still went there that was his one goal and then him seeing the deals some of the deals that had gone down between Morden and Londo in relation to the Nan. Holy hell, that flash of him seeing everything in Londo's mind, I was thinking, oh my God, at some point we are going to see a shadow ship. I was really surprised that we didn't, but we kept getting that flashes of the hand again. And that is so prevalent every time we see like a Londo dream or anything to do with Londo's link to Morden. This hand is always there. And it's so, so crazy to see the effect that it had and the dream he had and we saw his father on the tree and we saw that in and now for a word I think it was when he was talking to the lady who was doing the the report for ISN and Jakar was talking to her about his dad and what happened to his his family because of this spilt hot jala I think it was and to see him on this tree speaking to Jakar while Jakar was under the influence for then this voice to suddenly say, I've always been here. And then for us to see Kosh, and it was like Kosh going into Jakar's mind to kind of wake him up and basically say, there's a higher purpose for you than this. This isn't, this isn't what you should be doing kind of thing. There's more to, to this than what you're attempting to do. I love Kosh so much. He's, he just appears at the, times when people need him the most and well apart from Delenn obviously when she was put under the test with the Inquisitor but it's like this, that guy is insurmountable and he's just amazing and to see Jakar just take his fate at the sentencing at the end was just that guy is just amazing and there's just people on this station that 
are unbelievable, only for us to then find out that, you know, dust was something that was contrived by Psychor to get a more powerful telepath, and they're just happy to now have it back in human hands. And I was saying all the way through this, as much as I was laughing it best I was like, you can't trust this dude. You cannot trust him at all. I am so excited to watch the end of the season. I'm just going to go watch the next one and I will see you guys later. So thank you.